This video is about this new sense of part FR55 RLAP and that's a photo eye retro reflective with a red laser analog output and higher precision. You can see here it's a pretty awesome sensor and it does have a range of 70 meters. It's more accurate a little closer in as you can see from this graph but it goes 70 meters. We're going to be showing it with much smaller ranges because I have a short table. When you use longer ranges, you need a bigger reflector. At these long distances, it's pretty hard to aim the sensor, so we have this pretty awesome mounting bracket, the MA55, and you can see as he adjusts the Allen wrench, it dials in, zooms in on, right on the target. That's pretty helpful. This sensor is available with analog uh, current or voltage outputs and some discrete I.O. for remote teaching, as in this example with an overhead crane. So the idea would be you can connect two inputs and two outputs to a PLC to kind of remotely replicate the local push buttons and the local lights. Throughout the rest of this video, we're going to be showing this I.O. test box with lights and push buttons instead of a PLC because we're in the office. Just to illustrate the functionality of the sensor, but of course in real life you're going to have a PLC. Like most of our sensors, you teach this one in two steps. You press and hold the teach button for more than three seconds, and then the second step is tap the teach button. With this one, there's various functions depending on how long you hold the teach button. The points are 3, 6, 10, 13, and 20 seconds, and the lights will flash uh, slow and fast to tell you which stage you're in. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Like most of our sensors, you teach this in two steps. First, you press and hold the button for more than three seconds. Second, you tap the button. Here we have the target in place. We press and hold for more than three until the lights flash on the sensor. Then we move the target to the second position and then tap the button. And you see it went from four milliamps to 20 milliamps. Now the sensor's taut. At 20, we bring it forward to the other top position and it goes down to 4 milliamps. Teaching the discrete output in window mode is the same as the analog. You just use the other teach button or the other input. So here we'll press and hold the other input for more than three seconds. We'll watch the sensor until it the lights flash. There we go. Now we'll move the target to the next position and then we'll tap the button. And here we go, tap, sensor's taut. Okay, let's check out the sensor in action now. We've taught it between here and here in window mode, so the output should be on between those two points. If you look at the sensor on the right, it's off. You slide the reflector forward, it goes on and then off at the top points. To configure discrete output two, it's much the same as output one, except you press and hold the button for six seconds at the beginning. So here we press and hold, and at three seconds you'll see the lights flash slowly. We keep holding it. At six seconds they'll flash faster. There we go. Now we can move the target or not, depending on window or point mode. And the second step, tap the button. To restore the sensor to factory defaults, it takes three steps. First, you turn off power to the sensor. Second, you press and hold any button, or you can energize a PLC output. Third, you power up the sensor while holding the button, and after a few seconds, the lights will flash rapidly, indicating it's been restored to factory defaults. Starting with this sensor, we're going to be using the new DIN color code standard for 8-pin M12 connectors. You can see that here on the left of this table, and on the right is a cross-reference to the old de facto standard that we have on all of our old existing cables. There's a link to this table in the comments below. Just to recap, this sensor has a range of 70 meters with a reflector and you can remote teach it from your PLC, which is pretty awesome. 